Okay, so today what I want to talk about is one of the first things that you're going to do in WeChat after you've connected to a server. So as you can see right here, um, let me start this over again. Type in the command WeChat. There we go, we're connected. And in the last video we set up the server Freenode and we called it F node 3. So as you can see here, we are connected. It's looking up our host name, etc. It's going to give us a default nickname uh, that is our host name. And you know, the message of the day and all that. But what we can see here isn't very functional. What we need is a list of the rooms, the chat rooms, and the servers that we're connected to. And we also need a list of the NICs that are in those rooms. So that used to be called a buddy list back in the AIM days, maybe even before that. But the way that we're going to add those functions to WeChat is through the use of scripts. And WeChat has a script command. So let's check it out here by saying help script. And you can see here that there are some examples. You can search script, install, remove, even upgrade. But if you just type in script with no argument, it's going to give you a very exhaustive list of the different scripts that you can use. And the stars mean that they're, these are some of the most popular. And if you see any that are marked I, that means installed. Any that are R, that means they're running, which we don't see yet, but we'll come back to that. So let's close this out and let's search for um, the buddy list script. So we can say script search buddy list. And we can see that we have buddylist.pl. So that would be written in Perl. And what I want to toggle to next is in our .wechat directory, there's a Perl directory, which is going to contain all the uh, Perl scripts. And let's check a look, take a look at that right now. And we are going to see that it's empty. And there is an autoload folder. So let's look at that. Also empty. So let's see what happens after we install this. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to say script install buddylist.pl You can see here it's doing its thing. Let's take a look here. You can see now that in the Perl directory we have the buddylist script. Now let's check autoload. Buddylist is also in autoload so that means it will auto load when we open WeChat, which is exactly what we want. Oop, hold up a second. So now let's look for the uh, buffers.pl. So script search buffers.pl. Oh, mistyped it. Search buffers.pl. Here, we can see it right here. So, easy enough. Close script install buffers.pl. Alright, and let's check here. Now we see buffers is also in the Perl subdirectory and in autoload. We have both of the scripts here, so really these are the two that I want you to load at the beginning without getting into a too, too much of a deep dive into the scripts because these are really just the uh, two that we need to make WeChat functional. So as you can see right here to the left here, we have fnode3, the server we're connected to, and we have uh, WeChat right here, the WeChat buffer. And let's jump ahead a little bit here. We're going to cover more about joining and auto-joining channels in the future. For right now, let's just say we want to join 
Hashtag Fedora. And it's going to say unregistered. We'll go over that later. Don't worry about it. But you can see it right here that this is in our buffer list, Fedora unregistered, this chat room. And on the right is our buddy list. So really, these are just the um, first two scripts that I want you to load right away just to make WeChat somewhat functional. And from there, we can talk about uh, joining and auto join. And we're also going to talk about different ways to customize the windows and the different buffers and the bars and to really make it look like whatever you want. But I also want to uh, wanted to point out to you that as soon as we install these, they are going to be loaded into the subdirectories right here. So you can very easily see what's going on just by looking into your .wechat subdirectory. Okay, thank you very much for watching.